Hello YouTube. Alright, today we're going to take a look at the Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid Links Alpha 2. This is the latest, at least to my knowledge, the latest alpha from uh, the next release of Ubuntu. And what I've done is I've burned a CD of it, I've installed it onto a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card, just your ordinary SD card and I boot it off of here. So it's so uh, these these cards make perfect testing environments for this kind of stuff. Especially if you have a netbook that can boot from USB. And basically what I've done is I've installed it and I went through the partial upgrades that uh, that uh Ubuntu does when uh there's pre-releases. And when once you do that, you actually see changes in the UI and things like that. And the changes in the UI are pretty damn nice. So without further ado, let's make a very rough video, and I'm going to pull the camera off the top of my computer monitor, and try to bring it around without killing myself. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Here is the Dell Mini 10V, and we're going to put the 16 gigabyte flash SD card into the slot, obviously. Turn this thing on. I have no battery in here, by the way, just so I don't keep the battery charged constantly. Tap F12 to get to the boot menu. Let's get to USB store. Okay, what you do, with a, with a Mini 10V, you have like an SD card or a flash drive in, you go to USB storage. And Grub's loading now. And here we go. I'm trying to be as steady as I can with this camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, as you can see, boot speed uh, is nowhere near 10 seconds yet. <laughs> they've got a, a lot. They've got a long way to go on this. I mean, I know USB 2.0 was limited, but you know, it should take. It should take maybe less than that. Okay, see, so it has a new startup logo, which is very nice, I'd say. There's a gnome cursor here. Okay, here's where the first UI changes. Look at this. See how there's uh, this thing and that on the startup screen. Now that, I think, is a very, very, very nice um, addition. Let me lower the brightness so you can see this. A little bit better. Alright, that's better. Now you can see it. Alright, this is the UI change. I apologize for the glare on the screen, but it's glossy. What am I going to do about it? Alright, that's better somewhat. Alright. This is the first UI change. All that. And I apologize, this video is a little sloppy, but as you can see, it, it sort of works the same way. You go in, you type in your password. Then you log in. It still takes a while. And here we go. Here we can go over the UI changes. As you can see, the background's still the normal human theme that they had in 9.10. Focus, your stupid camera. And here we are. Here's one UI change. They have changed this Ubuntu logo to a more gray one, which I think that looks better, honestly. I don't like having the brown everywhere. Another UI change is right here. You go to the user menu. And it has chat accounts, broadcast accounts, Ubuntu One. It looks like they're trying to integrate uh, status more into everything on the system, which I like. I think that's very good. And you have the same thing that you get from uh, 9.10. For some reason, the sound was off, but the sounds the sounds are exactly the same. They have been ever since like 6.10, I think. Here we have. The wires, wired menu, the wireless stuff still looks the same. I don't even want to know what that is. That's a network somewhere here at college. <sighs> I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the menus. They've changed some of the icons. The internet icon looks better. I think it looks more like a globe now. All the same applications in there. 
They said they were going to remove GIMP, but GIMP is still in Alpha 2. So, maybe by Alpha 3 it'll be gone. There's a new game in here, too. G Brainy. And they've also included way less games with the OS now. You can still download all the old ones off of the uh, off of Synaptic or uh, Software Center, but I'm sure that they just didn't include them to save space. The version of OpenOffice on here is the, the newest one that was just released, I think. Be uh, Open OpenOffice 3.2. Yep, it is. And uh, OpenOffice 3.2 is a lot faster on Linux, at least. I really like it. And the version of Firefox on here. As soon as we load that, so Firefox takes a while to load. Is uh, version 3.6. There you are newest version, 3.6. And Ubuntu is now apparently sponsoring Yahoo Search instead of Google. Actually, I lied. That's just because the default appears Yahoo. I don't know if they're being sponsored by Yahoo or something, but you can choose uh, Amazon. That's weird. Wikipedia, eBay. I prefer Google because that's what I use as a search engine. <laughs> but apparently they're sponsoring or being sponsored by Yahoo now. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what's up with this. That's, that's new. As far as the user interface goes, it's pretty much what you'd expect from 9.10 so far. But the one thing that is new that I'm very, very impressed about is uh, you go to uh, Sound and Video. They now include a video editor, Pivity Video Editor. Now, keep in mind that this is a very, very early stages of a video editor. Look at the version number, 0.13.3. So it's probably going to be buggy as hell. But the fact that they included a video editor with Linux is fantastic. I think that is going to be, that, that to me is a huge deal and a huge leap forward for Ubuntu. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much the one thing that, that Linux has lacked. A, a uh, strong, typical video editor other than uh, Cinerella and things like that that you have to download or may not know about. But this will come as a basic... Um, video editor. I mean, it, it's basically the equivalent of iMovie or Windows Live Movie Maker on Linux, which is, and both of those on Mac OS X and Windows are great, but this is a big deal. I really like this. I haven't used it, but I really like the concept. And I think that concept's really going to take off. It's going to help Linux a great deal. And They've changed a few things in the preferences menu, I think. Personal file sharing, I think, is new. I'm not sure. I haven't tested that out yet. So, so I, I'm guessing that is to make uh, file sharing easier. I think the power management icon is new as well. Ubuntu 1, and there's also Windows. Set your Windows properties, startup applications. They're adding quite a bit of good stuff to the uh, uh, UI here. Now it's called Startup Disk Creator instead of USB Startup Disk Creator. I'm guessing you can use more than USB now, so <laughs> they're doing that. And oh my god, anyone who's ever used a Mac OS X, look at this, Disk Utility. Knock off or not, let's check it out. Wow. It looks a lot like the Mac OS X disk utility. But, wow, this has some good features. You can format the drive, you can benchmark the drive, that's very awesome. And you can view the smart data. Now, this is a very, very nice disk utility. It's very... It's laid out extremely well, I think. And it makes for a... It's another thing that Ubuntu lacked, an easy way to... Uh, just an easy and straightforward way to look at your disks and the status of that. Stupid camera won't focus. And um, that's the stuff I've seen so far in the alpha. So let's shut this down just to see how fast it shuts off. Ubuntu. Yeah, it's not shutting off extremely fast, but there you go. And that, everybody, 
is just a little brief look at the uh, Ubuntu 10.04 Alpha 2. And I like what I'm seeing so far. I really do. I lo I'm loving the new features. I, uh, the disk utility I'm pretty impressed with, actually. They've taken the leaf out of Mac OS X's book and made managing your disks just a little more intuitive. I really like that. And, yeah, that's just a little look at it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed taking a little look, and uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.